In this chill After Effects tutorial, we're going to talk about three minimal titles that you can create inside of After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So we've done a handful of minimal title tutorials in the past, but there's so many different ways to create minimal titles inside of After Effects. So I decided, you know what, let's just do three more and do an awesome video that shows a handful of awesome techniques that can be used in a variety of different title projects. And before we jump in, Video Hive is having a 30 to 50% sale on a handful of their awesome After Effects templates. So if you wanna grab a template that you've been wanting, go ahead and check our links in the description and you can save 30 to 50% off until August 20th. All right, here we are inside of After Effects and I'm excited to do this tutorial. I love doing titles, they're so much fun. And this is the first title we're gonna create. So we briefly need to talk about typography. So when you're working with two titles like this in this case, you need to have, you should have some sort of contrast between them. And right now we have no contrast because it's all the same typeface and the same font. So what we're gonna do here is use one of my favorite typefaces. And if you watch my tutorials, you know it's probably Gotham or Beat Baz Nuu, and we're using Gotham here. And what I like about Gotham is that it's a font family with tons of different variations of fonts. So for example, we can put in Gotham Black and we can make this title a little bit bigger and nice. Then we go to our subtitle or our second title and we'll go to Gotham again because we can use the same font family for this and we can set this to Gotham Light and nice. And of course you might want to have the second title a little bit smaller or at least variate it in contrast in some way. And then what we do here is grab one of our titles, go to the line tab here on the right and center this up. Go grab the second title and center this up here with the uh, horizontal alignment. So now we have our title in here. Now we need to create the shapes before we do any animation. So what we'll do here at the top is grab the rectangle tool, go to fill, and we can change this color to a really nice, you know, unique color. Maybe you're doing like a brand color or something that goes to the theme of your video. Um, and we'll just draw out, say, a straight line like this. And we'll go back to the line tab, make sure that this is horizontally centered. Nice, so this is all nicely in place. You know, got a little bit of attention to our title. And what we'll do here is come here to the top, and control double click the pan behind tool so this anchor point is in the center of our shape so we can animate this properly. So let's go ahead and do the animations of this because we are already ready to go. And we'll come here to transform with our shape layer. This is our rectangle that we have selected. Add a keyframe for scale and position and move these two keyframes forward in time, maybe to like a second or so, maybe a little less. And we'll unbreak the chain for scale. Set the scale Y to 0%. So it'll just open up like that and then let's bring the Y position up here so kind of like just be falling down so boom we get this animation with our you know rectangle and select all the keyframes make them easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 and then now we got to animate our titles and this is the fun part so what we'll do here is grab both our titles and we'll hit PR and keyboard for position add a keyframe for them and you know maybe move those keyframes forward to like two seconds or so and go to like a second and we'll move our corporate title above right here. And then we'll go to our second title right here. We'll wait till this corporate title comes down and we'll move that last keyframe over on the title and we'll bring this one up. Before we move on here, so go ahead and make these keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. So obviously we need to hide our titles before they come on. So there's a couple ways to do this. I'm gonna do this the quickest way. So what we can do is take our one of our titles, go to layer pre-compose and click okay and pre-compose the second title. Then we'll grab the rectangle tool here at the top. Let's go to our first main title here. And what we'll do here is just draw out like a rectangle mask like this around our title. So now, it'll just come on like this and you might need to update the mask. So it comes on underneath that line, perfect. Look at that, boom, boom. And now we have to do our second title here. So we'll do the same thing. So we'll create a mask right underneath our main title like this. And now our main title is done. We have our animation in, and if you want to animate it out, you can go ahead and do that. But we have the basic principles here for this first title. So let's go ahead and jump on to the second title. So our second title could be used maybe more for a lower third, but I want to just really talk about revealing on a text with a shape. So here we are in our second comp, and we have that contrast with our two titles. So I'm using Beatbaz Nuu with a bold font, and then we have Beatbaz Nuu with a book font. So this is why I like using uh, these type of typefaces because they have multiple variations of fonts. So, like I said, my favorite typefaces are going to be Beat Baz Nuu and Gotham for you know this type of projects. 
So once you have that title design in here with that contrast, let's go ahead and start creating some cool objects. So we'll grab the rectangle tool again, and we'll come here and draw out our box. And I want this to be symmetrical with our main title. You see how we have some nice you know, design here. We're able to just draw this out from one side of our main title to the other side of our main title. These are things that you should look out for. You know, what symmetry can I create here? You know, if that makes sense for you, if you want to do it. So this looks good enough. You might have to make some adjustments. And I was pretty much spot on with that. So drop me a like because that's pretty cool. Um, but we'll go ahead and put this layer underneath our subtitle. So we want to animate this on. So we'll come here to our shape layer, open this up, go to the rectangle path one. And we'll move here to begin our timeline, add a keyframe for size and position. And we'll move both of these keyframes forward in time, maybe to a second. And then break the chain for uh, size and set the X size down to zero. And then come here to the X position and move this over to the left. So now you'll have this animating in like this. And that's cool. Of course, make these keyframes easy. Ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. Now we need to be able to animate on our title with this animation. So what we'll do here is grab our shape layer, go up to edit, duplicate. And then we'll bring the shape layer above our subtitle, which is our motion designer text. And then we'll grab our subtitle, go to track mat, and set this to alpha mat. And if you don't see the track mat, just toggle switch the modes until you see it. And now, boom, it's being revealed on by our animation. And that's really cool. So now we just animate our main title here. We can just hit P on keyboard for position, add a keyframe, move that forward in time, and bring down the Y position and then just pre-compose it, grab our rectangle tool, draw out a mask. And now we're ready to go and this was really quick for us to do. So let's go ahead and move on to our third and final title animation. All right, so we have our title in here and once again, we have that cool contrast. So let's go ahead and create a box around our title and let's be a little bit unique about it. So let's grab the rectangle tool, come here to the top where it says fill, set this to none, click okay. Go to stroke, set this to solid color, click okay. And we can just do like a unique color here, maybe like orange um, and set this to 10 pixels. Okay, then we'll come here and draw out a perfect rectangle by holding down shift on our keyboard and that's fine. Then let's grab our shape layer, hit R on our keyboard for rotation and we'll set this to 45 degrees and nice. Then let's go to the align tab and center this up, boom. All right, so now we have this in here and let's go ahead and open up our shape layer, go into the contents, go to add and let's add trim paths, open up the trim paths and let's add a keyframe for start, set the start to like, you know, hundred percent and then move forward to maybe like a second, set it down to zero percent. So now I've animated our line like this and make both of those keyframes easy, ease keyframes by hitting F9, of course. And what we can do to make this list a little bit more interesting so we just don't have one line here, what we do is duplicate our shape layer and just offset the top layer by a few frames. Go to the bottom layer, change the stroke color to say white or whatever color you want and set the stroke width down to five here at the top. So now we have this double animation just as a little bit more detail to the overall animation. So it's really nice. So now all we have to do is animate our main titles here. And just like before, we can have these kind of close up on each other. So what we'll do is grab both our layers, hit P and keyboard for position, add a keyframe for them, move them both forward in time, and kind of just swap, you know, positions here. So move up the Y positions and boom, we get this. And just like before, we'll pre-compose these. And we'll just come here to the center, draw out this nice rectangle here and come here, copy the mask, paste it to the other one, hit M on your keyboard to bring up the mask properties and set it to subtract. And boom, now we have our third and final title design ready to go. And before we close this video, I wanna give a shout out to Envato Elements. So if you create content often and you use templates or if you wanna start saving time and money on templates, you need to check out Envato Elements because you get to download unlimited templates for one subscription price. So for example, if we're working on titles, there's literally hundreds to thousands of After Effects templates where we can just download titles that we need for our projects. So if we're looking say, for example, minimal titles, we can easily find this on Envato Elements and download this as an After Effects template and automatically update the titles inside of After Effects and export them within a matter of minutes. Whereas you can spend hours working on a huge title sequence or an After Effects project. And also with Envato Elements, you get to download unlimited stock video with over 300,000 clips. You can download royalty free music for your project. So you no longer have to buy 
copyright free music, over 80,000 sound effects if you're into filmmaking, tons of graphic templates from business cards to logos to document design for your business. And they even have a handful of website templates to help you with designing your website. And when it all comes together, currently Envato Elements has 1.4 million assets that you can download under one subscription price. So if you want to learn more about Envato Elements and start saving time and money on templates, you can go ahead and check our links in the video description and I'll take you right over to Envato Elements. So now we have another title tutorial finished. If you want to learn more about minimal titles, I'll go ahead and drop a few links in the description if you want to continue to watch these cool tutorials. Um, but in the meantime, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.